Vote for me. Vote for me. So yeah, hello again. I'm back. I'm refreshed and ready to take on this this thing I'm doing. Um, yeah. Anyway, where was it? I was um, I was updating you on second year. Okay. So second year was not as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest. The second year has definitely been an eye-opener for me, because, oh my god, I can't stop. <sighs> Mainly because it's the reality of the fact that after this year, I'm going to be on my own. And I spent a lot of time dwindling on that and reminiscing on the people I've met. So I've spent three years with people that I've grown so close with and it's scary and I I just feel like I'm stuck where I am whereas all these people that I know they're gonna go where they go. Obviously I don't wanna lose them and hopefully I don't, hopefully you know we stay in contact but it's the reality of life gets in the way. So Fucking hell, I'm gonna move on away from that. So second year, that was a ride. It certainly was the year that emotions were going up and down. So it was a, a year of roller coasters basically. But yeah, it was certainly something. So second year started off with TV and film. And with that we had to obviously learn monologues. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the update, but yeah, we had to learn a monologue more or less every week, or like stick to a monologue that we wanted to learn. <laughs> it, it was something. I enjoyed this, the first start of second year, actually. It was actually quite, it was something I wanted to do. It, it was enjoyable. Obviously, like I said, with the whole roller coaster thing, there was a fallout, unfortunately, with a lot of us, and it was kind of like a teacher versus student sort of thing. Um, obviously there was like the signs of miscommunication and stuff like that but it really affected me in the sense of how I'm feeling now. I just constantly felt like I was a letdown to people. Oh fucking hell, I need to get away from deep shit. I'm not meaning for it to be so deep, I've just gotten so fucking emotional over the years of being here and this year has really hit me. So it's it's something, it's certainly fucking something. Um, but I'm still kicking and screaming. Mainly screaming. But yeah, there was just this fallout and stuff. And then things kind of got better. Apologies were given and we kind of just went on with our days, to be honest. Obviously it's not as loud anymore because I used to just live up the street um, and I've moved into a quieter kind of part of that street, so obviously there's not a lot of cars, there's not fucking police sirens. But yeah, I'd say it was a good year. Um, so we moved on from TV and film, and we went straight to like Shakespeare stuff, and we did like a project with um, the RSC. Me, Adam, and Mark did this. Um, What's it called? We did summit. We did this like group thing, and it was just me, Mark, and Adam. I'm filming this because I heard him leave for work. That's why I'm filming it now. That's why I'm not in the mindset. I've kind of more or less just got out of bed and been like, I need to fucking do this, just so he doesn't disturb me. Because Adam's a fucking little bitch. Oh yeah, obviously we did that, and there was the opportunity to go down to Stratford, and watch the show and there was also that kind of opportunity where if someone people had dropped out we would have been also like part of that show and we never went. I think it was just because there were so many rehearsals to do with Shakespeare and our show, I believe our show was kind of that week or coming up to that week so we just we weren't able to actually do it. I'm, I'm a little bit as it is now, not just because of this year and it being like my final year and, you know, I'm gonna fucking lose out every fucking little bitch of a friend that I have. I even considered the friendships towards my teachers. You know, the tutors. You know, they've brought me to where I am. Yeah, sure, 
you might think it was me, but it was them that kept me here. Eventually they might see this video. You know, the channel's gonna be opened up to people of my university eventually. Um, so if they do see this video, hi. Thank you for um, believing in me and I guess not giving up on what you saw in me because I don't really see a lot in myself. So thank you for that. To them, and to my friends, thank you. And then after that, moved on to Midsummer Night's Dream. And we did rehearsals for that, we did auditions for that, to um, be given the character to play with it, and we were casted as the lovers. Um, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> the Saturday show, um, there was two shows that day. I did the morning um, one first, and then Adam and Cameron moved on to the evening show. So it was me and Mark, along with Tyler and Sammy, who did the first show, well, the first two shows. And then it was Adam and Cameron, along with Sammy and Tyler who did the last two shows, what well, the not fucking hell. I, me, Mark, Sammy and Tyler did the Friday and Saturday shows. Cameron, Adam, Tyler and Sammy did the evening show and then that was the last show of the year, more or less. Um, we had... What's it called? What is it called? I forgot what it's called. Theatre making. <laughs> Shit it all. So we had the theatre making module which kind of went throughout from the, the start of the second term in January up until the end. Um, and with that we did this project where we were in groups of three. Uh, we had to act, write and direct each other. We did that work after Shakespeare. Yeah, after the um, Midsummer's, Midsummer's Night Dream. But yeah, we did that, and my work was... It wasn't the best, but it was... It was summer. You, 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 there was something there. So that was the year, to be honest. Um, yeah, you've been updated. <laughs> you know, something. Um, I don't want to make any promises to this, um, because I actually don't know what I'm going to be like currently um because third year is fucking stressful i had to like open up to people this year and it scared me so yeah that's this video i'm gonna uh edit it as soon as i can because i've obviously got like a lot of work to do and i want this to be on the fucking channel as soon as fucking possible yeah i hope i haven't actually fucking bored anyone <laughs> to be honest like i said i'm going to edit this to the fucking fullest as best as i can um make it entertaining at least i'm just like i said i'm not in the greatest mindset that's pretty much it to be honest um yeah fuck you adam bitch